Yo, what up, man? This your boy Trap Mellow, man. I'm in the apartments with your boy Parlay, man. Tune in, man. We got more shit coming, man. Hey, Parlay. Meet me at the apartment. <laughs> Yo, you already know this your boy Parlay, live from the ATM Lounge. And we're in the apartment with Parlay. Meet me in the apartments. Listen, I love my city, ATL. Only thing I love more than my city is the west side of my city. Rest easy, shot low. Rest easy, we fly. Rest easy, swall. Listen, man. I love everything that we're doing. If you're doing something positive, keep doing it. If you're on your grind, keep doing it. If you got money on your mind, keep thinking. If you, if you want some money, just keep staying in that pocket. All right? Not just do a little bit more, a little bit more than what you were doing yesterday. And every day do a little bit more than what you were doing the, the next, the last two days, the last day. And just keep improving on what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And if you keep taking those steps, no matter how far, how big, or how small they are, you know what I'm saying? You're going to continue to progress. And once you start seeing that progress, that shit create ambition. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, oh, boy, shit. Watch it. Watch it. Run up 10. If I run up 10, I can run up 100. You know what I'm saying? Then you run up 100 and you keep on going. You know what I'm saying? And I just say that to say, whatever you're thinking about, continue to chase your dreams. Continue to chase what you want to do. Um, stop being stagnated. Stop getting stuck in a place where you you in a com comfort, comfortable place, comfortability, and you just cool with what's going on. Nah, man. Stay uncomfortable. Keep grinding. Keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? If you want to take this trip to go make something happen, and you keep saying, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it, go. To all my niggas in the hood who got there, you keep getting that phone call, they're like, pull up down here, pull up down here, pull up down here. Man, stop saying you're on the way, you're on the way. Man, pull up. You know what I'm saying? Nothing that comes, nothing that comes, nine times out of ten, blessings don't come when it's, blessings ain't planned, bro. It just happen. You know what I'm saying? So you can't always try to plan everything what you're doing. You just got to have faith and just let it happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, my next guest is somebody that, he been hearing me for the past year or two. You know what I'm saying? Back and forth. Every time he hear me, I'm like, pull up, man. And the crazy part about it is, usually when it comes to, I, I communicate with people, but I I usually don't talk business with people. I, I always just send it to the to the business side of it. You know what I'm saying? But some people when they when I look at my DMs and I see that we've been having dialogue from over the years, you know what I'm saying? I continue to you know how to dialogue. And I'm like, come on, come on. He'll say, I'm coming that week. And then I'll be like, come on. He'll be like, all right. And then I he'll hit me a message again, be like, hey man, listen, I got everything to get on coming this time, man. And this time he'll be like, I'm pulling up, bro. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? So I'd like welcome. Trap Mellow to the show. Yo, hey, yo, what's happening? What's going on, dog? I'm good, Carly. How you feeling, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah, you good? You ain't got to do like that. They going to hear your ass. Yeah. Word, dude. That motherfucker okay, definitely finna hear your ass, right. dog. Thanks. Lakers in six or seven? Shit, yeah. I say six. Six. I say six, too. Yeah. I say six. Lakers in six, man. Lakers yeah. in six, man. Got our ass whooped last night, though, but. It's all good. Yeah. It's okay. all good. We'll have a bounce back. We'll have a bounce back. Oh, uh, I want to say thank you for coming to the show. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy, too. So I, I think that this whole experience has been something to, of, like, uh, a slight bit refreshing for you, being out of other situations that you said that you have been in prior. You know what I'm saying? But I would say, goddamn, I done hit, like, three, four niggas up in Atlanta. Hmm. All of them be with the bullshit. Huh. I'm trying to tell you, man. Now you don't miss every time? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. Most of the time. Most of the I time. I would say, goddamn, yeah. you ain't hit yet. Them scammers, man, they out there. So I was really kind of hesitant, you know, but everything turned out. No, for real. Yeah. Then I then got down, we had to got down, move the schedule around a little bit. My dog was like, hey, man, got them. I said, hey, nigga having anxiety, y'all. <laughs> 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 no, yeah, for yeah. real, for real, man. So listen, let's do this, man. I like to bring my guests into who I got seen here, who the guests I got seen here. You know what I'm saying? So tell everybody where you from, where you grew up at. Yeah, um. I grew up in um, South Carolina, Chester. Been there my whole life. You know, um, Tony High style. They call me Trap Mellow. And really, I came up here, man, to um, promote my album, man, and, you know, let the world hear some of this new music I got going on. I got my dog with me, um, Free Agent Short. He rode up here with me. Short, what's going on, dog? You know what I'm saying? We came all the way down here from South Carolina, man. I let my dog parlay. No, for sure. Yeah, man. In the motherfucking apartment. 
Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, man. In the apartments, I already know. Departments is a crazy vibe outside. The real apartment. Man, hell yeah, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when I pulled up, they was outside. <laughs> no, for real. No. Hey. <laughs> Not real. How long you been doing music? Shit, man, my whole life, man. I say about damn near. Going on going on twenty years strong. Been doing this shit for a minute. Twenty years strong. Yeah. When was when was your first can you, if you can remember your first uh time really actually understanding that you knew that you really liked music? Like when was that what was that first time that was it I'm singing all the songs on the radio or I'm like when was that first you know, that first initial spark that you like I think the first time I really heard my heard my um I recorded and I listened to my voice on the playback mm-hmm. and I was like, damn, I really, I really like this shit. And the more I did it, the better the shit it started to sound and shit. So I just started to like it, man. And I stayed serious with it. Like a lot of a lot of people I know, man, they 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 used to rap and they stopped. But like I was one of the ones, like I stayed with it and kept doing it. So yeah. When 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 can you remember your um? Uh, was you was you already into the music? What age was you when you first started like started rapping? Start started like reciting stuff. Man, I say around about like it had been like around about middle school, something like that. It was a freestyle in the bathroom on the cafeteria table? Definitely um freestyling, freestyling. Y'all just had a freestyle uh, session. Yeah. Yeah, back then, back then we used to watch a lot of Rap City and shit like that. Can't wait to get to school. Yeah. <laughs> Inspired like a motherfucker right now. All the balls. I'm going to kill them tomorrow at lunch. Right. <laughs> Do something. <laughs> nah, for real, for real, man. Yeah. Was there a lot of people around you who was doing music at the time? Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I used to, I used to um, listen to a lot of music on the radio. Mm-hmm. Yep. Is it a lot of artists from where you from? Who? What, what, what's the closest artist? Big artist from where you from or the closest to your town? Yeah, the baby Tootsie, mm-hmm. somebody, somebody, somebody like that. Yeah, um, black black Zach, he from the Carolinas. Yeah, he from he from South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah show them me. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. How old you was when you first got in the studio? I say um. I don't know the exact age, but it, it was somewhere up, up, up in. You still in school? Yeah. This is middle school, high school. High school. In middle school, I was just fucking around, like goddamn, just, just just working on this shit. You know what I'm saying? But in high school, I started goddamn actually trying to go to the studio and get my shit together. So, okay. Yeah. You remember your first song you did in the studio? Yeah, that shit was. Yeah, it, it wasn't hitting on I shit. Went. Give me a few balls. Shit, I think it was some some crazy shit. Like I'm from the dirty, dirty. Hit you with thirty, thirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga don't be walking around that old music. And nigga be like, nah, yeah. nah, nah, nah. nah that yeah. be the beginning now, for real, for real, yeah, that's man. It, that's it. Yeah. It was, was it a law, y'all, when you first got in the studio, or was it just you and a few more people? Nah, it was me and my cousin, man, Alvin Chisholm, man. He um um rest in peace, man. But he was the first person that took me to the studio back then. That's who actually made me want to rap. Like he's one of the first rappers from my area, and yeah, Alvin Chisholm, my dog. Nah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Was it any other crew? Was it any other? Was it a, a lot of rapper rap crews and studios in your in your town then, or was y'all having to go to Charlotte? It wasn't really. It, it wasn't really a lot of studios there. Like um, it was a couple, but um, a lot of my music I recorded in Charlotte. Like um, I had to go there sound I wanted to get, you know. So, yeah. Boom. It's a, it's, a, it's a small city, so you know what I'm saying? We had to really go to the big city to do what we wanted to do. Is it more studios now? No, 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 no. That, that's the crazy shit. Like, it really ain't it really ain't no studios down that bitch. How many studios y'all got down there, shop? Yeah, yeah, we had, we, yeah, yeah, we had some shit going on back in the yeah, day. Yeah, you be so. doing back in the day, man. Tell what name is Silk, what the name is? Yeah, tell my man, I'm 
Yeah, no, no, <laughs> going on. Pop on for that Chester, man. Put on for Chester, man. Yeah, man. We had we, we had some shit going on back in the day, man. Little studios and shit. Um, actually, man, I'm getting back to it, man. We finna open up some studios and stuff and try to get the world to hear some of the talent that we got going on down there. Cause it's a lot of talent down there in Chester, so it's time for the people to hear what we got going on. And that's actually why I'm here, so y'all can see and hear what we got going on and. Take it one step, one, one step at a time. Step at a time. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, for sure that. Not nah, for yeah, sure that. Yes. Was it, has it any been? Has it been any artist who inspired you, or any artist you kind of look with and kind of take to or take after? Because I know everybody pretty much, for, in some type of capacity, everybody got artists who they like. I like how I, I fuck with Shawna as as an artist, and not just the way his music sounds. To give you an influence. Yeah. Uh, talking about like as far as like yeah, to, your, that, to the way you do music to the way you your style to um to the music that you chose to do uh to to the way you rap to just your, to your the way you do music I, I i look up to master p a lot and the way he do business mm-hmm. and he one of my favorite rappers too and, and um i say p you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of high right now, nah, y'all. So y'all got to goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Good, we, good. we had a little ride. You know what I'm saying? Coming all the way from the Carolinas. So I'm about to turn it up a little bit. But yeah, man, Master P, man. But then some niggas around the way, man. My homeboy, um, Cheddar Man, D Simp, Floss Ballers. That, that that's me, me, me and my homies and shit. Floss Ballers. Yeah. Okay. How, how many? What the crew is? How, how long y'all had Floss Ballers? Shit, we was out for like, I say about about five years, some shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know, but. We used to um we was everywhere with that shit like we we used to come down here and murder beach and we be a little bit everywhere. Give me a song. What 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 was your one of y'all biggest song? Shit, um, you damn right by Mr. Flip. That shit was like um the number one song in South Carolina for for like a year straight. You used to be like um can I get this motherfucker crunk? You damn right, like some shit like that. Oh, so you ain't knew this shit. You been doing you true to this shit. You been doing this shit. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, mo. Been around yeah. that motherfucker move, yeah. big yeah. stepper. Hell yeah. Yeah, you try to let these folks. Nah, I ain't went nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I ain't motherfucker right. went nowhere. Right. Do you? What was your first awe moment in the, in the industry? Like that first that first moment you had, you was like, oh, like yeah, nigga, like I'm here. Like oh shit, like okay, I got it now. Man, when I um, I think when I had did a song with Chopper from the band, like I had met him in the studio, and me and him had did a song and. I don't know, he was just really kind of regular and just, you know, he wasn't acting all like, you know, all celeb and shit. So right then and there, like, I kind of knew, like, shit, this shit kind of fucked me. And a lot more shit, man. Like, this moment right here, actually, this is our moment. You know what I'm saying? This my this my biggest interview. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So this it, really. Hell yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm coming on some, uh, we dropping goddamn all kinds of- We did shit back in the day, but like um, Paulay say, it's about right now. So nah, for sure that. Nah, for sure that. Yeah. So talking about y'all, uh, what you got out coming out right now, man? Let promote this shit, dog. Let go. She, Talk to um, these people. Work, work, working on my album right now. Uh-huh. Um, um, trap, trap mellow three. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like we dropped one and two, and I got um the situations video out right now. You know what I'm saying? And, um, shit, man. Finna drop some more videos. I got the movie coming out. Trap mellow the movie. You know what I'm saying? I got my clothing line too, Trap Mellow. Like everything I got is This nigga has real Master P, boy. I hate it. That nigga <laughs> like P for real, don't it, boy? Yeah. Everything. Trap Mellow cereal, candy bar, <laughs> Trap Mellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but but it's smart though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my name, and then that's like the name of if you see that, you know that's me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you gotta have a brand behind your shit. You know what I'm saying? Once you get that brand, you can get that money. You nah, know, for so. sure that. Yeah. Nah, for sure that. Get that brand, you can get that bag. Yeah, but you got you, you got a label now? Yeah, Monopoly Music. Monopoly Music? Yeah. How you come up with that name? Shit, like, yeah, the game, like a, like, like, like playing Monopoly. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, that's how I look at, look at the rap game and everything. Like, hell, you can get the money, you can own some shit, you can go to jail, you can goddamn 
whatever. You trying to run the board? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> most definitely from all angles. You not playing Monopoly? Yeah. yeah. You know a nigga know how to do something for real when they got down get that blank look, he be like, <laughs> yeah. not for real, not for real. What's your favorite part of the process? Is it recording the music in the studio? Is it listening to it after you record it? Is it shooting the video? Is it performing? Is it is it hearing the response from the people? Is it the comments on Instagram? Like what show? What what do you get more pleasure out of out of the game? Like the music, out your music. I say the first thing like making a song and actually letting somebody hear it and their reaction out of that like you know what I'm saying that part right there and doing shows too. Them shows be live as a motherfucker like actually actually doing shows. You, you, you lit on the shows. Yeah, yeah. I like I like I like doing them shows and shit too. You leave with your shirt sweat sweaty. Yeah, I go harder. I go harder. Uh, yeah, yeah. You ever stayed die before? Huh? You ever stayed die before? Nah, I ain't tried that yet. But I, I, I had to, um, took my shirt off at the show one time. We, we, we was swag, on them. Did you swing around? Did you swing around your head like a helicopter? We've been on. Did you hit him with the Peter Pablo? Uh, did you hit him with the Peter Pablo when you took your shirt off? Shit, yeah. Hey, they, I was they just they like, they were like, they like that. nah, nah, for real though. They were like back in the days though, like my um, fucking around with them goddamn yachts, but we went crazy. And put us out the talent show. We went stupid in that motherfucker. All um, them yachts. Yeah. Y'all had you up through that. Yeah. Huh? You were tasting it in, wasn't it? <laughs> Man, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> nah, yeah. nah, for real, for real. Trap Mellow 3, boom. Do you got it done already or are you working on it? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's halfway done. It's How many songs you gonna done. put on it? Um 13. And you already pick with songs. How how do you pick songs? How do your process work as far as when you're working on the album? How many songs do you do? How many when you do a certain amount of songs and say, I'm gonna pick through these songs? Do you just say, what, the first 15, first 13 I'm doing, I'm gonna these bitches on your motherfucker? Or do you take old songs, old singles that you had that maybe been hot and add them to the album and add a few more songs? Like, how do you how do you go through that process about picking the songs? Lately, I've just been damn. The shit been so gas I've been coming up with, man. I've just been taking every song I've been coming up with and just throwing on on the album. Normally, I might just try to sit on it or something, be like, well, I'm putting on a mixtape or put it here. But lately, I've just been like, man, you know, and that's how I came up with this album. I had took a two-year layoff, you know what I'm saying? And shit, I came back with my single situations. And once I started with that, man, that shit just really just started coming together. I was like, fuck it, I'm doing another Trap Mellow. And I'm going to keep doing them. Like, that, that's the goal. I don't even care even if I die. Like, shit, motherfucker, keep, keep dropping them goddamn. Trap Mellow 24? Trap Mellow to the motherfucker. Goddamn, all the way Trap Mellow. What <laughs> you talking about? Trap Mellow 100, goddamn. Volume, uh, volume 100. Like, many, for real, though. How many songs you think you got recorded that you haven't released yet? Shit, man. I done lost an ass of songs. I ain't going to lie, man. How you did it? Lost my damn hard drive and just one time fell out my goddamn engineer and just a whole lot of shit. Crazy. How you find out what you engineer? I don't know, man. Shit. You know, nigga. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe it was some money or something. <laughs> maybe it was some money or something. I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> Do you think how important do you think engineers are? They the they the most 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 important part of the, of the process because they the ones that make it make it sound right. You know, damn, Pale. Um, I had one to hit the blunt man. You ain't roll no blunt man. Yeah, you know, yeah. Man, hey y'all y'all we in the apartments. Goddamn, Pale smoking up all the weed. Yeah, yeah, all <laughs> that's all I ever do. Hit that noodle. Yes, sir. It's Atlanta weed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But 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 though, um, real shit though, man. I appreciate the opportunity. Um, you know, like coming up here and hopefully, man, this this right here can show y'all like you gotta get out the hood, man, and 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 link up and don't be afraid, man, to hit the road. Cause a lot of y'all be scared to to get out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let people hear your shit, man. Like. Look who I came across, you know what I'm saying? And you know, sometimes man, you gotta you gotta 
Shoot your oh, shot. Oh, somewhere. Yeah. Shoot your shot, man. Hey, man, goddamn, Go. get what? A thousand no's is better than one. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's a thousand opportunities over one opportunity. <coughs> So finish that shit. Look at that line of shit. Yeah, hit that shit again. Look at the camera. See, look at the camera while you do it. Look at the camera right here. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Hit that noodle too. Thanks. You never hit that noodle before. That noodle pulling. Yeah. Yeah. Hit that motherfucker again. Hmm. Uh, so. Yeah. yeah. He want the key. He want the key. He want to roll one up. He ready yeah. to hit this shit now. Hey, I I get to you, goddamn. I got to dig for this shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I get the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. No, he playing that motherfucker. Yeah. That motherfucker here. Hey, shit. <laughs> nah, for hey. real. For, nah, for real. For real. You travel a lot with the music shit? Man, lately I've been. Lately, like, I've been on the road, man. I've been going to Charleston, man. I've been to Charlotte. Now we in the A. Gonna go to New York. You know what I'm saying? Cali. Then I got some more shit going on in the A, like, really, um, man, I've been looking away everywhere but the goddamn camera. Y'all, y'all, forgive me, man, I'm high as fuck. It's all good. Long ride, but, yeah, we about to see the whole world, Trap Mellow, Worldwide, Parlay, the When you get a nigga high, he always blaming on something else, ain't it? When you get a nigga high, he blaming on something else, don't it? Man, I'm really tired, bro. You got, see, you, I, I, I up all night, bro. I been dry. I don't find that now. That nigga be kind of kicking this shit in the apartment, man. Yeah. Nah, for real, man. Give us a shout out, man. I know you got some people got watching. I know you got some people where you from. I know you got some people who support you. You know what I'm saying? I always like to take time like this, a platform like this, for niggas, you know what I'm saying, to really got them shine light on everybody else, too, who be helping them throughout the process. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. I know a lot of times, shit, boy, Chester. But shout out to my dog, Chris, it go a long way. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Most, most definitely shout out my damn engineer, Young Ice. Like, he the one that take the time and put my shit together and record it and coach me how to do it, man. Say it like this. Say this. Don't say this. You know what I'm saying? And my homeboy, um, Short, like, I had to stop rapping for a minute. He pushed me to get back in the studio, so I got back into the shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. And my producer, Three Q Beats, DJ Strategy, my brother, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. Shout out to Parlay. You know what I'm saying? For goddamn, let me pull up. And you know what I'm saying? You know, she inviting us to the motherfucking apartment. Goddamn, yeah, y'all yeah, already you know. Of course, yeah, you talking Trap about Mello. Goddamn. Yeah. How you getting named Trap Mello? Shit, um, man, I had got that name because I was like, here, I'm the. I'm the trap mellow of the rap game, like hell. I'm good as fuck, but I ain't got my ring yet. So I got I got to keep. I got I got to keep grinding. Oh shit, boy! Got to keep grinding. I'm the trap mellow of the rap game, goddamn. Oh, for sure that man. Yeah. Oh, for sure that man. That was that was some clever ass shit right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what you gonna do when you get your ring? When you get that plan, you gonna change your name? Hell yeah, no! I'm trying to get get the second ring, then the third one, the fourth one. You ain't gonna be trying mellow no more. Mellow going in. Yeah, you gotta, gotta, gotta stay mellow. You know what I'm saying? Gotta, gotta stay mellow. Trap Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go government. <laughs> yeah. You got you got an ass trail there, Paul? <laughs> no, for sure that, dog. Yeah. For sure that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, before we get up out of here, man, tell everybody where they can follow you at. Man, you can follow me on Instagram, Trap Mellow World. You can follow me on Twitter, Trap Mellow. Facebook, Tony Hostile. That's it, man. Y'all just stay tuned, man. We got a lot of shit, man. You know, I'm on, I'm, I'm coming. Y'all just fuck. You say YouTube? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I gotta drop YouTube, YouTube. YouTube. Um, Tony Hostile. Like. No, for sure, man. No, yeah. for sure, man. It's Tony Hostile, aka Trap Mellow. No, yeah. for sure. That was your first name. What? What's your hood name? Is? Sherwood. Sherwood. Mm-hmm. Where that come from? We smoking a lot of weed. Mm-hmm. Like, like. Um, my real name is Sherrod, so they put the wood with it. So I'm smoking and shit. How long you been smoking? Shit, probably since I've been in the goddamn ninth grade, some shit. Now 14? For real. Mm-hmm. What you smoke first? What kind of, what's the first weed? When you first started smoking, what kind of weed was it? Some resin. Huh? Some resin. Uh, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're an 80 baby. Definitely. Huh. 
Yeah, yeah. What kind of camera? Uh, all right, it's three stages of Reggie. Mm, all right. Thanks, though. So, so all right, for everybody who watches, okay, it's three stages of Reggie, all right? The Bobby Brown, all right? And then it's the goddamn, and then you got the goddamn, you got the flat green. And then you got the fluffy green. You know what I'm saying? What kind of fur would you use? My fur would be straight Bobby Brown. Straight brown ain't no green. It was brown, straight brown, no bullshit. Yeah, that's what that's what we had. That's how big a zip was. <laughs> it was a zip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you gotta get that motherfucker, put that, spray that water bottle on it, <laughs> fluff that motherfucker right there, put it in that goddamn bag, put it in the microwave, goddamn put the herb pill in it. Be a wheat. You gotta goddamn do this shit like a crop for real. Okay. Nah, <laughs> for real, for real, man. Right. Nah, man. Appreciate you coming through, dog. Blessings. You know what I'm saying. We're gonna drop the music link with the motherfucker. Probably gonna be the first time we done did it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna put your music links on there so we upload the motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you can go straight to your shit and go get it. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep pushing through, man. Keep taking them barriers down, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just stay consistent. Right now, it's not about how talented you are. It's not about how much money you got. It ain't about who you know for real. It's just about how consistent can you be. Yeah. That consistency is gonna make you meet and reach everybody you're supposed to meet and reach all the heights you're supposed to reach and stand consistent. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people think that because a lot of people don't like their music, then they give up. Just keep driving because eventually, shit, you're going to have a whole, you're going to have a, a big old catalog. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so just keep crying, dog. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you for coming, dog. Oh, yeah. Till next motherfucking time. It's your boy Palais live from ATM Lounge. And we're in the apartment with Palais. Meet me in the apartments. <laughs>